Good morning, Knights. I'm Brooke. And I'm Garrett, and you're watching FTV. Today is Tuesday, April 19th, 2016. Teachers, please open your emails for question of the day. On today's show, we're going to get their outlook on their upcoming season. But first, iPhones. Everyone has one and everyone uses one. Here's a video about the innovative tiny glowing screens. On January 9th, 2007, Apple launched the iPhone. And an in A phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today is April 19, 2016, and we are currently still using this amazing device. I'm sure many, and almost all of us have one. Get in your po pocket and allow you to do almost anything you want it to do. The iPhone is an outstanding tool which helps us every day with simple or difficult tasks. Look, this is my iPhone. Yes, it is cracked, and yes, it is destroyed. But, it is still working just fine. Not only is the iPhone built well, it has helpful apps that come in handy every day. Such as the weather, the clock, directions, places to eat, online shopping, taking pictures, and many more. However, let's not forget that it is a tool to help us, not control us. I'm not saying that you shouldn't use an iPhone because I use my iPhone every day. I'm just saying that one should try to limit their time on one. Don't let these tiny glowing screens consume your everyday life. And now it's time for the question of the day. In the film Back to the Future, what is Dr. Emmett Brown's dog's name? And now let's pass it on to Alex Lopez with sports. They want me dead. Put that price on my head. No, no, no. They want me dead or alive. They want me dead or alive. I'm just trying to survive. You should get fall behind. You never cross in my mind. Cause it's dead my life. They want me dead or alive. They want me dead or alive. I'm just trying to survive. You should get fall behind. You never cross in my mind. <laughs> hey Knights, I'm Alex Lovis with today's sports. Girls lacrosse beat Oak Park yesterday at 11 to 4. Great job, girls. Tonight, softball plays at Brea at 315. Boys volleyball at El Mondina at 6. Boys tennis plays at Yorba Linda at 3. And, go and boys golf plays at El Dorado. Good luck, Knights. In professional sports today, the Angels play White Sox at 5.10 p.m. and the Dodgers play the Braves at 4.10. The Golden State Warriors beat Houston Rockets 115 to 106 in game two. Kings beat Sharks 2 to 1. Ducks play Predators. Predators lead series 2 to 2. To 0. <laughs> Have a good day, Knights. Um, first? Yeah. Thank you, Alex. And good luck, Knights. Students, do you know about parking on campus? Lil Tesva and Zane Roroff have the inside on Foothills parking lots. parking spot. Alright, let's go. Yo, Law, I think this parking's reserved. It is? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, dang it, it is reserved. Told you, bro. Finally, a 
spot, man. <sighs> Finally, let's get to school. All the way out here. A few moments later. <laughs> Finally, a parking spot. What do you think, Sebastian? It's alright. Hopefully, we're not too late. Three. I think we missed school. <laughs> Now let's send it over to Nikki McClellan, live on the couch with varsity swim team members Bobby Lee, Arash Zabanesh, and Eileen Harrison. Hey guys, I am Nikki McClellan here with the swim captains with Eileen, Bobby, and Arash. So Eileen, what in swim means what do you usually swim? I usually swim the 200 freestyle and the 100 freestyle. And what are your fastest times? Uh, last year during league I went 2 minutes on the 200 free and I went this year, I went 56 on the 100 feet. And Bobby and Arash, what do you usually swim in any of the Oh, we like to strive for the hard events first, so Bobby's a butterfly to begin with. Is mm -hmm. Round of applause for that. From the 100 butterfly, uh, my best time's a 52.9, and I'm striving to beat the school record this year. Let's see if we can do it. And then I swim butterfly and freestyle, and I went uh, like a 55 this year. And who are your guys' fastest swimmers on the team? Um, well, Hunter Ingram won King of the Pool, but a couple other fast swimmers are Mikey Miller and Courtney Mickinen. And Chaz Horniker and Brooke Maxson. And Simi, Sydney Shimamura, too, is really, really fast. She won Queen of the Pool. And so, who are your guys' biggest competitor for this year? I'd say Bella Park and Esperanza, probably, are our biggest competitors. But we still win, no matter what. <laughs> yeah. We really don't have competition. Um, one last question, um, who are your guys' idols? For swim. Uh, I look up to Mikey Miller. Jim Brum is my idol. He's a good man. I look up to Courtney Mignon. She's so fast. Well, thank you guys for coming. And now back to our anchors. And just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Thanks, Nikki. Now for our daily news. Scores of schools were closed and cleaned up was underway after being damaged in Houston on Tuesday. A day after record rain hit the fourth most populous U.S. city, causing floods that left five dead and led to more than 1,000 water rescues. Four children were severely injured in a deadly collision involving a white Toyota Sienna on, and a Toyota 4Runner in North Hills on Sunday. A father was killed in the accident and four other adults were injured. For our Foothill announcements, all students taking an AP exam pre-administration sessions are rescheduled for today and Thursday the 21st in the event center during tutorial. You only need to attend one of the sessions, but you need to complete this process before you can take any AP exams. If you have any questions or problems, contact Ms. England if you have any questions. Our next Saturday schools will be held on April 23rd and April 30th from 8 to 12. Clear your detentions and absences. Have you seen whose line is it anyway? Do you need a good laugh? Come to the Little Theater Thursday, April 21st at 645 for a night of improv. For only $5, you get to watch Foothill and Woodbridge students perform hilarious scenes right on the spot. You don't want to miss out on the last improv show of the year, hosted by professional comedians from Improv City. Congratulations to Foothill High School, Magical Singers, and Advanced Women's Ensemble for winning first place with a gold rating in each of their categories. The, choir's competed, the choir competed in Heritage Festival in San Diego last weekend and swept the competition, earning five different awards. Go Choir! Makeup physical fitness testings will be Wednesday, April 20th at 8.30 a.m. All ninth grade athletes who missed the first testing should be dressed out and ready to get tested at 8.30. Meet on the track. Questions? Email Mrs. Hagstrom. All right, and for today in history, the first Boston Marathon was held in 1897. The American Revolution began in, began in 1775. An earthquake rocked Guatemala in 1902. And my big fat Greek wedding was released in 2002. Hmm. And now for the answer to question of the day. The answer was Einstein. And the winner is Miss Guillaume. Yes. That's
that's all for today, Knights. I'm Brooke. And I'm Garrett. Have a Tame Impala Tuesday. <laughs>